Hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. My name is Corey with Missledyne Online. Thank you so much for joining us. In the last episode, we found out that there are not one Black Waltz. There's a Black Waltz number one, a Black Waltz number two, and a Black Waltz number three, all after our heroes. Zidane took down single-handedly, I might add, Black Waltz number one and his summoned sea lion enemy. The only sea lion enemy you will fight in this entire game, by the way. Now, in the last episode, I also realized that because of uh, my dumbness of forgetting to save something and having to redo a part that I actually forgot to do a letter that technically you guys see that I delivered, but I actually didn't. I just did it in the old thing, so, so that kind of stinks. Um, I just have to find a way to see if there's a way I can talk to Monty again. As far as I know, he is in the evil forest. Um, I'm pretty sure that's where he is, and if he is in the evil forest, I'm out of luck. Um, I am pretty sure, however, that he is the one that I talked to on the world map, so I can find out um, that way. Maybe he has Magnet. I don't think he does, but we shall see. We shall certainly see. Um, Alright, now let's move on. Zidane defeated them. The blizzard's done. They all woke up. Let's see. Garnett's calling for her man. Hey there. Everybody okay? Yeah, man. You! What just happened? It was no big deal. You're hiding something. Hey, nothing happened. You heard me. You didn't touch the princess, did you? Oh, that is just gross. She was sleeping. God. Zidane should have thought of that earlier. Just kidding. That's completely disgusting. Zidane, is something bothering you? No, it's nothing. Oh, dude, tell him. Just tell him. Why isn't he telling him? All right, and then you're going to want to go this way, back towards where you just fought Black Waltz number one. And look at that. What a pretty little river. All right, and then you're going to want to go up here. Of course we're going to get in a random battle. Of course we are. I wish this was a Pokemon game and we had repels. A little max repelling. Mm. Gotta love Dr. Pepper. Gotta love it. Alright, let's hope Vivi gets a turn pretty quickly, because he can wipe these guys all out in one time. I would suggest, by the way, this is pretty easy experience points. Um, you you seriously just go in, cast fire on all of them, and it'll take them out. So, it's pretty easy to knock out three guys and, you know, one little thing. Um, so, I would suggest maybe spending some time in here, building up your levels if you want. You don't really have to. You really don't. Um, there is going to be the, a boss fight coming up reasonably soon that is kind of hard. Um, and actually, speedrunners, it's almost, it's nigh impossible to do at a level 1 game. You actually have to have 100% of that sword fight, the nobles impressed. You have to have 100 nobles impressed um, to get a moonstone. And a, and a 10,000 guild, by the way. Um, but it'll give you the Moonstone, which will give you access to Shell extremely early in the game. Um, and there's only a limited number of Moonstones. I think there's only three in the entire game. So, you you would need that for the next boss fight if you were doing a low-level game. Um, which, this is not a low-level game. This is not. This is a regular game that anybody would play. Um, I do think in the in sometime in the future I will be doing a... Um, a perfect game. I used quotation marks, air, air quotes there that you can't even see. Um, but I don't think I'll be getting the Excalibur 2 um, or the Moonstone or anything. And the reason for that is because I, I can't do a 100% perfect game. That sword fight, I just, I've never been able to do it my whole life. Um, I'm going to try the home trick though and see. If I can, then I'll do a completely perfect game. If not, eh. But I, wanna sh I do want to do a low-level game and like show you some level 1 fights and stuff like that. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be doing that, because I do plan on doing not just this LP, but other LPs. Enough of that. Let's focus on this LP. We made it through the mist. Oh, the sun feels great. Look, there's a village. I think I've been there before. It sounds like you've been everywhere, Zidane. Hey, what does that mean? What is, what does that mean? Is she calling me a slut? You may have been to that village. Let's go visit. Wait, hold it. You're a princess. You can't just go rushing in there. 
People are looking for you. You need a new identity. Oh, come on. He is so annoying. Insolent fool. The princess need not sneak around. Besides, uh, we're heading back to the castle. You leave her alone. And you will address her as princess from now on, you silly peasant. What did he just call me? Did he call me a pheasant? He. <laughs> Damn it, Rusty. Why don't you just shut up? Who do you think you are? I don't take orders from a stuck-up jerk like you. You guys! Stop it, you two. She's got a knife. Steiner, I do not return. I intend to return to the castle. And I do see Zidane's point. I need a new name. Zidane, what is this called? Well, well, honey, that's a dagger and a regular sword. All knives of that length are called daggers. And then there's sword swords are a bit longer. The big sword you hold with two hands is called the broad sword. And then they're... Oh, okay, I understand now. And then there's like a rapier and... And stuff like that. So this is called a dagger. Princess, it's a weapon. Please be careful. Does he annoy anyone else? I've decided. From now on, my name is... Humphrey. That's right. She is choosing the name Dagger. Her name is Dagger. Dagger. I kind of like it. It's kind of hot. Imagine meeting a girl named Dagger. I'd be like, yo, what's up? What's up? My name's Cloak. Sup. Sup. Alright, bye. So, I, I will be called Dagger from now on. What do you think, Zidane? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Great, Dagger. Now let's work on your speech. Try to sound more casual. Like me. I shall try. No, no. I shall try. Who? She, she hasn't said that this whole game. What would Vivi say? Just say, alrighty. Uh, uh, alrighty. You're getting the hang of it. Well, let's go. Who's excited? That means that we're coming up upon the first village of the entire game. The first town that we can actually, like, go and, and, and have it open, you know? Whereas Alexandria, yeah, we were open, but we were also kind of scripted. You know what I mean? Um, and if you go here, you can run here to this gate. Um, I don't believe it has any items, but you might as well just go and check it out. At least to get it marked on your map, you know? Um, and it's right there. Might as well. See? Nothing good going on here. You can go to this, and you can say, I want to talk. Southgate is the border of Alexandria and Lenblum. We check every airship and person crossing the border. We're doing the best we can to keep the two nations safe. Have you ever been on an airship? Uh, yeah, I just stole a princess. Um, the shop girl at Vega won't be here for a while. I can wait. Then wait right here. I want to pass through. You got to have a gate pass to pass through here. Remember that. We need a gate pass to get through this gate to go to, uh, to go to Limblum. Right now we're stuck in Alexandria. And we don't want to be there. Nothing. Alright, so we're going to wait. 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 Oh, there she is. Part-time worker Mary. Hello, I'm Mary. I work at Vega, an item shop. Shut up. Let's see. I want to rest. Rest. So you can choose to rest for 100 gil, and it's like sleeping at an inn. Um, so everything gets completely... You're good. You're good to go. You're golden. I want to shop. Let's see if she's got anything interesting. Nope. Same things as always. If you're low on tents like I am, I only have one tent. Um, and you find that you need them more often or so, or you've been training in the field a little bit heavier, or you want to be training in the field a little heavier than I am, um, be sure to grab tents. They're expensive, but they're good. You know, they're definitely good. So I would suggest getting those. I would definitely suggest getting those. <clears throat> I'd like to add that this game actually has a multiplayer function, uh, but I don't suggest using it. There's really no point. Um, if you remember, these are a new type of bug, a uh, new type of enemy, um, called a carved spider. So I wouldn't mind showing you guys stuff about them. Um, Now, Carved Spiders give you... They have 123 health. They give you 48 experience points. They're found in Ulrich Heights, Bentini Heights, and Lindblom Plateau. Um, and they, they drop a few interesting things, but nothing nothing necessary to really have. Um, but they can drop a Zagnal card, which is pretty cool. 
in case you, you need a Zagnal card. You can steal a potion, tent, or ore from them. Uh, most things you can get an ore. Let's hope it drops an ore. I, you know, I wouldn't mind getting those. Um, and they learned those abilities, and you actually already saw them learn those abilities. Uh, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Well, next time, we'll go and check out some the village of Dali, which is right there. And uh, that little odd forest and mountain. We're going to check it out. All right. See you next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Have a good one. See you later.